All right, uh, welcome back everybody to Morpho Project. Um, so today we're going to be fixing this little thing over here. So those things are going to be fixed. And then uh, we can finally start getting uh, new stuff done. So we can then finally start with the back part here. And hopefully, you know, everything will be fine. And then we actually have everything fixed if all the white stuff is gone. And yeah, we are getting close to the finishing line. So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to be fixing that. And uh, let's get started on this. <clears throat> so, what do we need? Well, we actually only need the blend tool for this. And we should, yeah, and we should lower it down to the right amount of size, which is this. Yep. And we need to make sure that we have the right layer on selected. Yes. All right. Cool. Now, <laughs> oh hey, Cryak, how does it go? Well, it actually goes well. Um, today I have my uh, job coach actually coming in. Uh, so. I had to prep some stuff, and uh, he says that everything looks fine. So uh, I got another order to fix my uh, uh, CV a little bit, and then uh, we're good to go for uh, you know solidating for an, uh, for a new job. So that's good. I fixed that today. Uh, sadly, I forgot to walk, but I got Chinese, so technically that adds up all the things together. So yeah. Uh, after this, I will do a. Uh, I will go for a walk, like an hour walk, and then I uh, will be and then I will be back in in my chair doing uh, playing video games. So uh, I got that go going, and um, I'm gonna be prepping. Um, I'm gonna be trying to prep myself to get myself uh, a video going for you know making a D and D dungeon with all fully customizable creatures into it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, hopefully everybody is gonna be liking that. So yeah, I'm gonna be making. Vi I'm gonna record that and then you know upload it as as said. Uh, let's see. I want to actually make sure that they have not the head on. So where's Mr. Head? Mr. Head, you need to be silent for a day. Thank you. Now I can see stuff because now if I yes, now I can see stuff. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Head. All right. So uh yeah. Um I'm doing great actually. I uh I have my motivation back. I have my uh you know, my strength back and I'm no longer stressed and that is all well and done. And I'm very happy upon that because holy hell, I felt like a truck and I don't want that to feel that way anymore because I don't need to. Also, I actually have been watching uh I also have been watching some anime lately, just you know, to cover up for my, you know, not doing anything at a day, because I was so stressed out I could not do even simple drawings, because my head would hurt. So that's when I went to like, you know what? I can just casually watch anime and that will work. That will work as a charm, and technically it did. So I'm very happy upon that as well. So uh, yeah. I am very happy right now, and uh, I'm already seeing improvements upon what I'm doing, and I'm getting actually very close to finishing, you know, this Morpho project. But I need to be precise about it, so therefore, you know, I always need to make sure that I do the things right. So today we're gonna be fill uh, we're gonna blend. Yes, we're gonna blend the color into the bo both colors, so therefore, you know, you have the whole damn composition of it. Oh, that's great to hear. Walks are also really good, uh, good thing to do. It clears the mind and gets you out of the house for a few. Yeah, 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 indeed. And I did like six miles of walking, and I did that now already for two weeks or four weeks. No, three weeks. And I'm already feeling improvement in my belly. I'm already feeling improvement upon my uh, uh, upon my mind. So yeah, I'm getting less stressed and. Uh, I'm a very vulnerable person when uh when when it comes to stress. I stress out. Oh, um, black clover. I don't know if you hear it or anything else, but I found it. I found it a very interesting storyline. It is very anime cliche though, but eh, I am not. I'm not a person who likes to see. Yeah, 
you know, I'm not picky. I just wanted to see a long anime. A long running anime, so yeah. I went for that. And I'm now watching it like in into a one go not into one go, but in like, you know, the full every day, one hour or two, and I'm watching some anime uh, anime uh sessions and uh yeah, I really like where it's going. It's really funny though. But uh it has so many fucking anime cliches, it's it's ridiculous. But I like it. I really like it. So yeah, um, what I'm going to be doing now is very casual, doing the same thing. Also, um, earlier this morning I actually have been working on the morning drawings. You don't know, actually early, that's like 7 hours ago. 7 hours? Yeah, probably. Wait, 10 plus 2, and then now it's 7, so that is 9 hours ago. Hey, I can, I can, do, I can do basic math. See? And uh, yeah, um, I uh, I realized then what, what, uh, when I was busy, you know, drawing the whole damn uh, texturing, my hand got really tired because I was like, you know, intense texturing causes a lot of energy into your into your hands. That's why I really, that's why I actually did not do any gaming today because you know, gaming same hand. I'm one, I'm one-handed, so I well, I'm not one-handed, but I'm. I'm only good with one hand. I am not like I can play badminton. I can play badminton with two hands, but I cannot play uh, I cannot draw in with two hands. If I would be doing that, oh my. That would actually be a very cool thing to do, you know, draw with two hands and then see how well it goes. Probably it will go terrible because one has a mo the one has hand motions and the other one hasn't. But yeah, my uh my drawing hand is not not the same as my uh uh, a hand for sports, but my gaming hand is the same as my drawing hand. So yeah. Uh, so I actually did not play a lot of games, or well, intensive games that were requiring a lot of hand motions, because you know your hand needs to rest. Otherwise, you know you get a get a little bit of uh, pain in your hand, and that's gonna be sticking for like a week. And you don't want to have like a tennis arm. Yep. You don't want to have that. That is the worst case scenario of being way painful. So yeah, I always try to keep myself, um, always try to keep myself in a good, uh, into a good mood. Also, I'm vi I'm s very fond of you know being able to watch anime on a site that doesn't require any payment whatsoever. I'm that casual guy who likes to do the pirate way when it comes to these things. Like, I'm not gonna pay 20 bucks per month to just watch a, a series. Oh hell no. That's what poor people do. You're not supposed to be... You're, you're better You're better spend doing something else than doing that. You could spend that 20 bucks on a good game. You could spend that 20 bucks on getting new headphones. You could... Oh boy. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Toggle keyboard? No. I need that uh, away. I need that keyboard away. Go, go, shoo. All right, go. You didn't see anything. I pressed the I pressed the button. You only saw you only saw my keyboard going up and that down. So yeah, um, the main the main issue that I always deal with, you know, uh, I'm a person that doesn't like to spend its money most of the times. So I'm a very, uh, I'm a very, I'm a very happy person when I see something for free, and then be like, is it really free? And then I try to figure out if it is really free, and then you know you realize like, oh my god, it's actually free. Huh. But yeah, uh, normally I use sites, or you know, if I want to see something that I need to learn, something like scientific research. Uh, normally those documents you need to pay for. Uh, I know I know ways around it, and therefore you know, get everything for free, the knowledge, everything, the reports, and that uh, 
that really helps me because you know you can then finally be like oh yeah I don't have to pay fucking 20 bucks to see a simple document that's about statistics ah oh, thanks which is a really dick move for all, uh, from colleges back in the day you know you need to pay yeah you need to pay for this book this book and this book even though we're only gonna use the digital version it's like you son of a bitch and then you look up the digital version and you find a free version of it and you're like, oh my god, that's 20 bucks wasted. You could spend that on alcohol, you could spend that on money, you could spend it on cakes, ice creams, whatever. That money would have not been wasted. Because, you know, you're not going to be... They're just saying like, but somebody has to pay the printer. It's like, hmm, I could also just buy some ink and some paper. And then, you know, that's even cheaper than the 20 bucks you gave me right now uh, that I need to pay. Oh, hell no. No 20 bucks printing service. Oh, hell no. Is. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm dexterous. Yeah. I'm. Be wait, wait. I'm be dexterous. Yes, yes. Being being skilled in two hands. Yes. that That's the word. I am at that. At, I am at that at tennis. Or, well, in badminton at least. I can do that in badminton. I have like two way I can use both hands to play. Which is a really cheat move because you can just you know be like, oh no, you're striking me to the left side. Allow me to just quickly switch hands and be like, boom, haha, psych. So yeah, that that's a dick move. I know that it's not allowed in tournaments to be uh, to do that, uh, switching switching your racket around with your hands. But yeah, uh, it really catches people off guard, and uh, it was it, it was fun when it lasted, you know. Playing badminton for like three years, I believe, and then I quit because I had other things to do, or well, I didn't found the sport anymore amusing because you know, eh, became a little bit too meh. So now, uh, after that, I actually switched to uh, running, but now running isn't out. Of, now, now running is out of the option because you know everything is closed, and so. I went back and then I quit for a lot and then I quit for one year because of the lockdown so I did a year nothing that causes my tongue that causes my tummy, uh, stomach to fill with air and because my stomach was filled with air that causes heavy pains and no and nausea and being nauseous all the time and being 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 like you blowed up like a uh, like a balloon so I actually had to do something about that. That's why I now actually do every day. I do the uh, I do one, six miles of walking to reactivate everything in my body to get everything up and running. Because apparently sitting still for a day, drawing and playing video games is uh, not always a healthy way to go. I did not gain any. I was not getting any uh, weight. That's good though. I was not getting any weight, but I was you know feeling sick all the time because of it because of all the uh, bl uh, bl uh, blo bloatancy in my stomach so uh, I fixed that I'm now very happy that um, I'm getting uh, that it's getting better and better all the time so I have less I have le I have less problems with it every day so it's it's getting less and less of course it's still there uh, because you know I just eat it some um, uh, some uh, fast food today like Chinese for instance yeah I would consider fast food if it is made from you know if it, if it is the if you buy if you buy it but um, that for instance the Chinese I actually uh, I can feel you know I can feel it like yeah it, it's a little bit heavy on the stomach so yeah it does do a little bit it, it is a little bit painful but it should be it should be over like you know once I'm doing the walk, it should be over then, by then, and then uh, everything is gonna be fine. So yeah, um, today is actually nothing special today because you know I'm busy doing this, but it is definitely a special day today because I actually gained good, some good news, which even lifted my uh, stress levels even lower because I heard like, oh well, look at that, the whole damn trouble business is now back into a secure mode. Ah, good. So yeah, my whole damn thing that actually causes stress is actually now uh, a little bit, not not fully gone, but it is, uh, it's less, it's less problematic. 
which is good because you know you don't want you don't want to have a problematic effect so yeah anyhow so uh I actually worked today on my morning drawings and uh I must say myself I'm actually quite proud upon the result I got now so far because I actually completed the full neck skin. Alright, I completed the full neck part. And I'm very happy upon that result. Because that was, you know, one of my concerns like, oh my god, how it's gonna be looking? Is it gonna be looking fine? Is it gonna be looking great? And then, you know, once it was done I was like Yes! So, yeah. I am very happy. I am very happy today that I'm pro that I'm getting success in my in my drawings that I do. Oh well, at least, you know, in my way of doing the drawings. And of course, I always like to do the calculated run, so when something odd is happening, you know, I want to figure out what it is and how I can prevent it. Because that's how you do things. That's how you learn things. You you prevent you prevent you prevent certain events from happening. Therefore, you know you you successfully combated the problem. And that's all always the funny part. But yeah, um, gonna be trying to get uh, trying to get trying to get more videos on. Not like you know only live streams, but also videos, which might be a little bit you know you know. I am not very great with videos making, but hey, you know, don't blame me on that. I, uh, I it's not my ba it's not my skill. All right, it's not my uh, it's not my gifted skill. My skills is drawing, not uh, drawing and creating creating uh, creating models, but three D models. But right now, I don't have the software to do the three D models, and the software is actually quite expensive. And I also need to still buy, uh, get a new. I, if I want to do that three D modeling, I also need to have a better, or well, a bigger tablet because I actually need to do certain types of poly. Uh, I need to work around with polygons, and those polygons might be big. All right, sometimes they need to be big, and if I use a big giant tablet for that, that has its own, uh, has its own GPU in it and its own uh, CPU in it. Actually, that would work even better because then I can. Yeah, um, you, you get the point. It's gonna be an expensive run, all right. It's gonna be an expensive run, but first, but first, but first, I will try to get a video up and running. Kind of create my own D and D dungeon, and then you know, put my own put my own thoughts into it and what I would do, what I would do with it, and then you know, I could actually play test it as well if I am correct. Yes, I could. I technically could playtest it if I really, really, really wanted, because I actually could make it into a game if I want to, because I have that kind of power in my hands. Maha. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a long. Uh, that's gonna be a long step, and uh, that step is gonna be doing in baby steps. So uh, don't expect me to do it from one, one from one place to the get go. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. And hopefully, you know, uh, everything will be fine. So, um, I will uh, try my very best to get the best, to be the very best, like no one ever was, because drawing is my real quest, and to draw is my own cause. All right, uh, that's enough Pokemon for today. <laughs> ah, I really, li I really like Pokemon like uh, pro Pokemon style games. They really, they are really cheerful. Most of them, and also you know the mechanics in them are sometimes different, which is good. I actually played Digimon back in the days, and actually I also played the Pokemon, both on the DS. And uh, you know that DS Lite? Oh my God, that thing was a holy sentence from God. Whew. That thing was a beast. It could you could watch movies on it, you could play video games on it, you could listen to music on it. And of course, you could also uh, run softwares in, uh, on it, like you know, simple simple softwares. I don't know which one it was, but yeah, there were certain types of softwares I could actually run on it. But yeah, I'm honestly not very good with artwork. I wish I were, uh, I were, but my main skill is writing. Ooh, writing. Ooh, ooh, yes. That's the thing that I also need to work on. <laughs> 
The main problem I always face with writing is that I'm writing like a fucking 10 year old when it comes to vocabularies. It's like, yeah, um, I am not good with vocabularies. I don't use rich words. I'm always using the peasant language. I, uh, my, 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 uh, my problem with, you know, writing is like, I'm a very heavily dyslectic person. So, uh, pronunciations, uh, you know, all the stuff that you need to care about when you write, yeah, not gonna happen in my books. Not gonna happen in my books. I, I try to do my very best to get everything correctly, but uh, if you would see my writing, it would be, it would be like, you know, if you see my, yeah, if you see my writing, it would be like, ah, well, that, that sucks. That's why if I write, I always want to be top on top notch on so when I write I make sure that I'm doing it rightfully so so that I don't make any mistakes of course I make mistakes in the writing because you know I write like a fucking retard because I never read things out loud I always forget certain types of words because I always think ahead instead of writing so my writing is like there and my thinking is way over there already at the end and it's like, ha, huh, I think I missed some words there. Yes, you do. And, uh, well, you know, of course, you knew to, of course, I'm trying to be, you know, uh, of course, I'm trying to be, you know, this person that wants to, you know, get, uh, get that fixed. So that's why I always read things out loud afterwards. So I read things out loud and see what, what words I was missing. And it's like, Oh boy, I missed this word, I missed that word, and it's like almost probably 20 or something like that is uh, <laughs> is uh, most high, uh, highly the thing. Writing with, ex uh, with expanded vocabulary is somewhat difficult, but again, it depends on what uh, audience you want. You, you have to write to their skill level in the language. Yeah! Just skill level in the indeed skills are indeed very important. The leveling skill, but yeah, my leveling skill is uh below average, I think. Yeah, probably, probably. I got a I don't know if you ever had you know grades for writing and reading, but I always scored the lowest r grades for that. That was like, yep, you're not very good at languages, aren't you, boy? Yep. I am. I'm the worst person when it comes to languages. If you ask me how to write something, uh, don't. Just don't. You probably end up. You probably end up with the wrong words, or you probably end up with the pronunciation being correct, but then you know, the damn, you know, spelling did not work out well. It's funny how you know. Uh, it's funny how you know. I'm able to draw, but I'm not able to paint. Yeah. I know. It's strange. It's uh it's one of my things that I'm always frustrated about. It's like, yeah, I would love to paint, but uh the bit all the procedures I need to do before I finally get a painting done. Jeez Louise. And that's why I always went that's I uh, that's why I never actually used a lot of colors back in the day. Like, you know, I think I started coloring two years ago. That's like we're in 2021, and I did I started coloring it two years ago. And I wh when did I start drawing again? When I was six. Yeah, that is like uh, at least at least at least 60. Nah, at least 16 years. Yeah, probably 16 years. Eh, that's a decent amount of uh, time between coloring and drawing. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, the uh, coloring was never my uh, my style, never my thing, never my mojo, and uh, I'm now finally getting the hang of it. All right, I'm trying to get better at it. Don't get me wrong here. It's uh, I think other people that could uh, could draw uh, could color things in uh, might be better than me, but I don't care. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it what I do. I do admire that. But I don't care. I do admire them. I do take. I do take 
you know, I take their advice for granted, but I don't care if it weighs me down. Why? Because advice is always handy dandy. Adm admiration is always good for inspiration, and therefore motivation always comes in trees. And that's why you always need to be like, oh my god, this guy can do this? Oh, that's so cool. And then, you know, you push forward. That's the thing. That's the spirit. You keep on swimming until the end. You're not gonna give up. Why should you give up about something that you want? Why would you give up about that? Like, you know, there is a basic. You know, basic drawings always start easy. And they get progressively better. Take me, for instance. I did some I did some drawings and I got better at it, alright? You wanna see... You wanna see my... Oh, hey, Space Junk. Nice to see you. Painting is his own uh, own skill, though. It causes uh, the own process of completing the work. When uh, Also, when I was starting uh, to write, uh, I always misspelled... <laughs> Renda Rendaverse? Rendavu. Rendavu. Ah, because it's pronounced as Rendavu. Ah, oh, cool. But yeah. If you ever saw me draw a human, trust me, uh the first time you saw me draw a human it looks like an ugly fucking baby. But I'm getting better at it. And that's the idea, you know, improve upon your skills, improve upon the things that you learn. Improve upon what other people uh, now well improve upon your own vision of your drawings by looking at other pe people's art. I really admire pe other people's art. Trust me, I really like some art styles. Some of them are joyful, some of them are not so joyful, some of them are even you know gruesome or cruel. But they're still cool. You know who doesn't like to see some bloodshed on the wall? You know with a big giant berserker dude with a big giant great sword. Slicing through a deer. Eh, I don't mind. It's awesome. I admire, I admire everything. I admire landscapes. I admire, uh, I admire portraits. All that stuff. It all gets me hyped up to the uh, to the max. I really, really love art. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of my favorite things to think about because I can fantasize upon what I what what, what to do and how how to do it. That's always what I do. I always fantasize in my head how how or what 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 the characters or what or what's going on, and you know daydreaming really helps with it, and especially if you have a picture of it, oh, ho, ho, ho. then you get some really cool stuff. I don't think I space out, but I do. But uh, according to my um, according to other people, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. uh. Resources is something I misspelled. Yeah, uh, I think I always spelled I always spelled psychiatrist wrong. Yes, I always spelled psych yeah, yeah, psychiatrist wrong. Yeah, you know that thing that 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 kind of words. No, those things are horrible to write. Psychiatrist and wit. Yes, wit, wit somebody. So, if you're with someone, I always write it white, or with, or, you know, it, it is something in between. It's never the right word. It was never, you know, wit. It was also, it was either wit, wit, uh, the w, oh, uh, no, no, the we, uh, h-e-t-a, or it is gonna be we, a, e, e, H T A, or it's you know you get the point. It was very confusing. <laughs> so most of the times it was like wit. Ah yes. <laughs> this girl was white. Mary. Yes. Yes. It was not. She was not wit Mary. No, she was with white Mary. <laughs> Uh, so many times I wrote that wrong. <laughs> Every fucking essay, all the wits were always the other word around, and all the whites were always wits. Yes, that's uh, that's how you do it. Wit snow, not not white snow. No wit snow. <laughs> Painting is about shapes, volumes, edges, and color. Yeah, 
And I cannot do anything about that. I cannot do edges or shapes or color. That's uh, that's not my pro move. That's not my pro gamer move there. It's one of my weaknesses. Oh, me. Could you imagine it? W having weaknesses in my drawings? I have strengths. I also have weaknesses. Trust me upon that. I'm trying to improve upon that, though. Therefore, I always never give up on that. I never give up upon that thought. I always try to improve myself, and I always try to improve upon others. I try to, you know, be the very best when it comes to these things. And I will never give up. Because that's not me. Why should I give up? <laughs> Giving up is for losers. The only time you give up is if things are not looking like it's supposed to be. Then you figure out some. Then you solve problems, and I love solving problems, puzzles, problems. Give me at them, and I will. I will try to big brain that into oblivion, until I overthink it and I get brain hurt. That's most likely what is going to happen anyway. But yeah, the English language is a, uh, it, as it is now. Takes some several lang uh, uh, takes from several languages and sh uh, shones can make it different to learn. <laughs> Yep. 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 Even a child's game is for me difficult to pronounce, alright? I'm I'm normally, you know, when I play Temtem, for instance, I just play Temtem because it has some great dialogue, alright? It doesn't have great dialogue, it has great dialogue for me because I can learn to how to pronounce certain things. Or, you know, the pronunciation might be totally off balance, but hey, I'm speaking English. Yeah. English English channel definitely I'm definitely an English person yes 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 I ha <laughs> I'm definitely not Russian what are you talking about <laughs> Oh man oh this is so funny this is so fucking funny ah I am having a blast. Let me just take a quick look before I just get myself again like, oh shit. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it 30 minutes already and dang it. Stupid thing. Always when I have fun. Always when I have a fun conversation, this is happening. Like, yeah, 30 minutes already in, boys. Ah, time goes, time goes fast when you have fun. I will tell you that. I know that this would take a, long, a, lot, a lot of time. Yes, true. Yes. But... Eh, what hasn't? What hasn't have a lot of time? I mean, it's obvious. Eh. Oh, well, this is the only part on yet? Alright, cool. Now we only need a second color, I believe. Do we need a third color on this? Mm, no, I don't just need that. Alright, cool. That's more like it. Also, the hat is missing now. Hat, come back here, you chicken hat. There you go. Hawk and head back again. Or oh, hawk head. Uh. So, let me see where this is going. Uh, Alright. I'm missing stuff here. So what I'm going to be looking for now is the uh, I'm looking for something here in particular. Uh, nope. That's the group. That's not the group thing that I want. I actually want to go for looking for stuff here. So what am I missing? I'm missing something here in the drawing lines and I Alright, something here is missing and I don't want. I can figure it out. Show me. No. That's a wing. Show me. No. Show me. No. Alright. We're just gonna casually move on and see where we land. Ooh. Uh huh. This is the whole tail. Oh my. It's in the tail section. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, till section. Show me what you've got. Is this the part that we need? This is part B. That's that one. Harry part, yes. Harry needs to be in the... Uh, this one? No. Harry 2. Harry 2, that's supposed to be in... Yes, that's supposed to be in this one. Alright. Harry 2, you're gonna be moving downwards. Because I actually need you... In Wait a minute. Alright, you need to be in the... Not in the till end. You need to be in this one, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Alright. Not there. Not there. Not there. And then. There. Yes. Alright. No. Come on. No. 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 Yes. Alright. So now we have the hair in all the places we want. Because if we now cancel the hair. This will happen. Oi! Alright. So, this group right here needs to be moving upwards. It needs to be above the. It needs to be above this. So, it needs to be above the body. Where is the body then? Where is the body? Body, body, body. Alright, yes, needs to be above the body, so this group needs to be above the body, so we should then move the body downwards. Yes, we should. Alright, buddy, you're gonna be going downwards. Awesome. So now, if we now enter the body group that we had before, which had the Harry 2, I can now finally succeed upon that. Alright, good, 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 good. Now we need to find only the calls that we need. Oh boy, that's gonna be a pain in the mark, right? Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. First things first, we need to find the first group that we need. So we need to lock down the hair parts. Yes. Awesome. So this is the first color that we need then, right? Yeah. And then we can move this upwards to this. Yes. Awesome. So yeah. <laughs> the golden ratios are looking good. Nice. Now uh, let's see. So first things first, we actually want to add more color towards this. As you can see. Also, you can see now that there is a white smoke coming off, which we need to see if we can remove that. Probably. It's one of the other groups then, right? Yes, it's in one of the other groups. It's in the tail section then. Yes. Awesome. Got it. Easy. Easy shutting down that part. Alright, now we need to actually move the tilt section out. Go back to the group that we wanted. 
number two. And now we can look for the parts that we are currently currently doing. Alright. Hmm. So, if I'm correct, I need to get this up and running in there. I need to get this correctly done. Yes. All right. Cool. Now that we've done that, we now need to casually remove some certain stuff. Looks like a uh mm, I see what I did there wrong. Uh, all right, I need to remove some stuff here. So yeah, I'm gonna do this casually. This is gonna be the most hardest part here to do, and that is, you know, getting the color correctly and implement it. So that I'm not be able to talk now because I'm actually concentrating a little bit and that uh, that does require me a lot of thought. Well not thought, more like, you know, being able to think about it. Alright. Cool. Awesome. Uh that's when alright, let's see. So when I'm trying to do ooh, Yes. All right. So I need to crap. So I left some coloring here behind. Yes, I did. All right. Don't worry about that. I can leave that cab open and then you know color it up later. It's in the wings, so should not be that problematic. Right, cool. and that would be fine all right so what about this So I need to get this up and running again as well. Alright, so how do I do this? I know I need to put this part right over here. I need to fix this part. Hmm. I need to add some more. Yeah, I do need to add some more to it. So I need to add more. Uh, 
feathers to this side over here. So this right here, I need to add over here. I need to add some more feathers. Ah, that's no problem. That's a no biggie at all. Okay, manage that. In the meantime, we should focus on getting all the color here done. So uh, let's see. And we're already almost five minutes left. All right, fine, fine, fine. Five minutes, cheese Louise. I wasn't even done, and it's already five minutes in. I'm just merely getting started. All right. So now that we did that, we now need to get that one. We now need to get the colon that we wanted in the first place, so we need that one. And we need to get that up and running as well. This might take a long this might take a long time, but hey, uh, you know. At least, you know, the Malfa project is a very simple project that does take a long time, but will look pretty in the end, which is important. After all, you know, we're almost close to the end anyway, because you know we're only filling up the call thing. Oh hey Baka <laughs> Fatus, what? Is what is what is in this <laughs> Yes, it is now. Would we're now coloring hairy hair? All right, that's what we're now drawing. We're drawing hairy hair. The most hairiest of hair. Don't you worry about it, though, Becca. It's nice to see you anyway. You should take a seat and enjoy your popcorn while it lasts. You know. I want to get this thing done and then I will call it quits for the day. Right. Needs more feathers, Christopher Walker probably. Yep. Christopher Walker needs more feathers. Definitely needs more feathers, man. In war, you know, we cannot survive without the feathers. They were the best of the best. The best pigeons ever. If you ever saw a feathering pigeon, you know you knew that the war was beginning. And I must say myself, I'm a very happy person when it comes to feathers. But yeah, this is all about hairy hair and the legendary hair of hairness. Yeah. Oh man, yikes, 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 yikes. So yeah, we're already at the fifty minutes fifty minutes in. Oh no. I guess I still have ten minutes left just because, you know it's not like I can do anything else. <laughs> I'm busy doing my stuff and I'm stuck doing this until I'm done with this. And then I need to actually do the second color as well, which is gonna be taking more than twenty minutes. Dang it. All right, fine. Another episode. Then, then apparently, you know, after ten minutes, it wouldn't be done. 
I think, because ugh, that's how this works. This is how this hair works. It's not done in 10 minutes. Because I also need to do a second color, I need to do this color as well. Bushk, that one. Bushk booth. That stupid color I also need to do. Which makes them even more annoying. Because then I know, like, oh well, you know. Alright, cool. Now I can put this back in. And now if I look back, this is how it is now looking. So this is how it looks now. And then, you know, after we get the second color in, everything will work fine. So yeah. Phrase Harry's hair scream screaming. <laughs> Well, don't mind me saving this bad boy up, and I will zoom out for a bit, and then we uh, can discuss what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I think it's going to be the same thing, we only need to add the color here, and then we're going to fix this part over here, and then we know we're we going to fix this part, and then we're going to add some feathers there, and then fix all the white stuff, and then, you know, erase all the coloring that is not there yet. The color palettes that we're going to be, we're going to be saving that on one layer, and then, you know, we're going to erase the rest. So, um, yeah, uh, this is it right now. This is our big giant bird brain of, of brainness. This is, uh, our moth hawk. It's, um, it's a moth slash hawk hybrid, which, uh, you know, that's why it's called a moth hawk in, in the first place. And, uh, it looks really well already. You know, we're almost done. We're almost done. All right. We're almost there. So, uh, yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed for today, because how late is it, 50 minutes in, I am not able to get the other color in, 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 in 10 minutes, no fucking way, um, because this is a pattern, and a pattern takes more than 10 minutes, alright, um, so yeah, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and thank, thanks all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Until then. Oh, fucking hell. I also need to recolor the, the wings. Oh, no. Because the color scheme doesn't work. Yeah. All right. That's it for today. All right. Um, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I uh, have a lovely day. And uh, bye.